Hi everybody, Mr. Sioka here. In this video, I want to see if we can expand on the aggregate supply, aggregate demand model that we built in our last lesson and use it to explain fluctuations in the business cycle. So let's take a look at our business cycle. You'll remember that the economy tends to grow by roughly 3, 3.5% per year on average. However, it seldom actually grows by 3, 3.5%. It tends to have this cyclical nature where it grows by more than 3 and 3.5%. Three and it can grow by less than 3, 3.5%. Three or there are times when the economy actually contracts. So let's take a look at those three. You'll notice down here we've got these troughs where the economy is growing by less. It's actually contracting. These are periods of recessions. So... If you go down to the bottom left, I've drawn an aggregate supply, aggregate demand graph and labeled it RG for recessionary gap. If you look at the short run equilibrium of PL1 and Y1, you'll notice that if we're going to be drawing a recession, then Y1 is going to be to the left of long run aggregate supply and full employment illustrating the fact that this current level of production is insufficient to fully employ roughly 94 to 96 percent of the labor force. Therefore, we are currently below full employment, thus a recession. So, that explains our recessionary gap. It's a graphical illustration of the trough, the recessionary gap. Now, there are times when the economy runs too hot. And we've got these periods of inflation, where the economy is actually running way up here, growing much faster than 3, 3.5%. Three and, and we're at risk for runaway inflation. So during those periods, if we take a look at the short-run equilibrium of Y1 and... PL1, this Y1 is going to be much further to the right than where the long run aggregate supply indicates that the full employment level of GDP is. So, as a result, in this situation, we're dealing with Y1 being too far to the right, too high compared to the full employment level of GDP. And as a result, the unemployment rate in the short run is probably much lower than five, you know, five and a half percent, but we're at risk for inflation rates of six, seven, eight, nine, maybe 10 percent or higher. So in this case, the economy is running too cold, and in this case, the economy is running too hot. Well, that kind of brings us to our Goldilocks example, and that number three, what happens when the economy is running just right? So as a result, we're looking at periods of here, 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 and here. Well, we're growing at the right rate. Well, there, we would have a short run equilibrium of PL1 and Y1, and the economy would be operating right at, let me get that right, right, nope, still not right, right there, perfect, right at full employment. So as a result, we're right on target. So you'll notice the three scenarios. All the way at the bottom, recessionary gap. The economy is running too hot. Inflationary gap. And the economy operating just right, meaning the economy is at full employment. I hope this video helped you out. See you next time.